that it was a struggle early against Verlander, but can you talk about the perseverance? Well, uh, you know, the slumbering offense came to wake in the seventh inning there, and it was uh, finally, uh, you know, a couple of well-placed balls, almost big hit, um, but it was great to finally get a lead. Um, Verlander was sewing very well to that point, and we just couldn't get anything going. But, uh, you know, finally in the seventh inning, we broke through. And I know you try, you have to stay even keel, but this has to change the mood heading into the All-Star break. Well, it does a little bit. Um, you, you know, it's a, it's a, even though it's one win, uh, y you know, you feel like you could have taken three out of four with a couple of well-placed hits. But, you know, we're eight games better than we were at this time last year. Uh, it's a difference of being at 500 coming back from the break and two games over. And it's a difference of being, uh, you know, eight and a half games out or six and a half games out. So it was a big game for us. Can you ask for more out of Bruce in a spot start? No, Bruce did phenomenal. You know, he really gave up one run. That the second run was a fluky run. But, um, you know, my plan going going in the whole day was, uh, uh, you know, Bruce get us through five. We'd have Ventura for the sixth and seven, Wade for the eighth, and Holly for the ninth, and it worked out perfect. Well, Eski, I think, just has played so long with Alex Gordon that, you know, he instinctually knew that the ball was high enough uh, and, and when to, you know, break off. But, you know, uh, Raul was out there playing deeper than Alex plays and, um, you know, it just took him longer to get there. Well, the offense always goes better when, I mean, if for us to win, we need Billy going, we need Haas going, we need Gordy going, we need Sal going, um, <clears throat> and Moose doing what he does. I mean, that's, it's imperative. That's, you know, we've, as an organization, we said from day one that those are the guys that are going to carry us offensively. You know, we talked about Haas a couple of weeks ago, you know, he hit 220 for the month, and I said, you know, this is a guy that can come back and, you know, hit 370 for a month, but now, nah, I mean, he's hitting over 400 for this month here. So um, he's a guy normally, um, like most of our guys, uh, Moose included, Haas included, are second half guys. So I think the, all the signs are pointing uh, upward for us in terms of our offense. Is there a reason that you can pull through there for, for that? Because this was about I have no, I have no idea. Yeah. If I knew, I would have fixed it. You just can't. I don't know. I don't know why it happens. It just happens. <clears throat> They shouldn't be second half guys. They should be full season guys. Yeah. But they are, you know. The last couple of years we've been a good second half team. You know, we're eight games better than we were last year and we and we've got I think the best baseball ahead of us that we're going to play. So, just go with that. What what's, what's what do you have to do to be a good second half team? I mean, is there You got to play good. You got to hit. You got to pitch. You got to play defense. You know. Gave, gave Sal the night off, but brought him in late. Is it just saw an opportunity and he was your best bat available? That changed the whole complexion of the game. Um, you know, if I if I leave Hazy in there, they, they pitch to Hazy, they bring the infield in. You know, I put Sal in that position against Verlander who has great numbers. Um, you, you saw what happened. They ended up intentionally walking him and then a big inning resulted. So, yeah, we're trying to win the game. Is Omar and Fonte going to be that guy that you wouldn't really have anybody else to play? Well, that's why I put him in the two spot today. You know, he's been really – we put him in the two spot in the beginning of the year. He had the back injury and tailed all, off a little bit, but he's been really, really hot the last two, two and a half, three weeks. And that's why I put him back in that spot because he's been swinging the bat so well. And he came up in a pivotal point of the game and really delivered a clutch hit for us. In the seventh there, do you need to tie or take a lead before you get back into the pen? You can't play for one hit, right? In the what are you talking about? In the seventh, Billy leads off. Right. You're not going to pinch run. You're going to cost him at bat if you do that. Yeah. Are you are you trying to either tie or take a lead before they get to Java and Hayes? I'm absolutely trying to take the lead right there. Not and I don't care about Java. I'm taking the lead because I want to get to Wade Davis. Yeah. You know our offense hasn't allowed us to get to Wade Davis the last two nights. Um, you know put us in a position to win. You know the I managed the game the whole game around getting us to Wade Davis with the lead, and then to Holly. I thought he did great. I thought he did great. You know, came in, uh, uh, controlled his mechanics, uh, you know, threw the ball great. When he came in, I told him, I said, kiddo, hold him right here. We're going to score some runs. you got a chance to get a win. 
And at the end of the game, he had a big smile on his face. So worked out. Any concern putting him in? I mean, he's never come in in the middle of anything, never come in with runners on. No concern. Man, at an all-star break, what do you do? You try to unplug a little bit? I totally unplug. Yeah. Totally. I'll sit on the tractor for three days, and as soon as it starts to get dusk, I'll be fishing on the lake. You yeah. care one way or another how long your guys play in the all-star game? No. I want them to just go enjoy the experience.